Okay, today we've got the DigiAir Pro T2. I'm just going to unbox it. It's made by Emator, so a very reputable Swedish manufacturer. One of the largest manufacturers of uh, test equipment for the RF game. So you use this one for uh, TV, TV antenna installs. There's some things to, uh, to note. Well, first of all, let's look at the packaging. Inside the packaging you get uh, you get a cigarette lighter power supply, the lanyard which goes through the top, top of the unit because uh, these units will be uh, used uh, when checking antennas so you've got to get up the ladder and, uh, and carry it some way so the lanyard's used for that and then you've got the manuals and drivers which you'll probably never use. Um, and sorry, a power supply. The particular thing about these, uh, if you have a look in the back, you get some very nice Eneloop batteries. Eneloop are probably considered the best batteries available. Uh, these ones are uh, low self discharge LSD batteries. So that means that if you pull out the meter every few months uh, to use it, you'll actually have battery, whereas in the stock standard NICAD batteries, uh, they're almost, you might as well throw them away and they're of no use. So this one has the Eneloop batteries and that's a key, um, a key feature. All right, so this is one of the most simple to use meters. You'll notice that the version number appears. This is um, an Australian, Australian firmware version. And we'll just flick through a couple of the menus also. So, the beepers, antenna voltage, very useful. Um, you can power, if it's a caravan antenna or a, um, or a masthead amplifier, you can provide power to it. So, 5 volt, 12 volt, or 24 volt. Um, go back into the menu. And uh, yeah, the digital, we're going to be using the digital. Um, channel plan. You have a 20 dB attenuator and you'll notice it's dBB T, T2. So T2 is our latest version and what that means is M, basically MPEG-4 TV. So that's going to future proof uh, your antenna meter because MPEG-4 is, um, is used um, well everywhere basically. Um, and in Australia we use MPEG-2 um, predominantly. All right, so you have your, your different channels. You can scroll up and down through all your channels and it's pretty quick. Um, so in Australia, we're starting from channel six, which is our bottom channel. Um, and then we can punch it all the way up through to our top channel at channel 51. So that's a full channel plan for Australia. And you notice a D for digital. Um, we don't have an antenna um, signal plugged into it. Um, so we're reading zero antenna voltage and, uh, and no, um, no dB, no signal strength. At the bottom of the unit, you see your DC plug to charge it and to keep it charged up if you can, because especially when you're supplying antenna voltage, you know, it, may, um, it may use a fair bit of battery, hence why it's so important to have those good batteries. And you've got an F-type socket for plugging in, uh, plugging in your antenna or your test point. All right, we've pressed it again. We've gone from that channel's um, signal strength to the first uh, to the first screen where we've got signal to noise and the pre and post uh, bit error rate. Uh, and um, we'll be looking for um, you know minimum of to the negative four um, in the, in our pre BER um, of more importance. Unfortunately, it won't appear. But you press the OK button and you'll have. MER, so modulation error ratio. So that's the critical determinant of the quality of the TV signal. Now, a cool feature of the last firmware upgrade is that you'll notice a little A up in the top corner. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, that means channel block A. In Australia, we use a number of channel blocks, A, B, C, D, and E. Most of the capital cities, their major transmitter will be on channel block A, and, uh, and it's a horizontal uh, polarization. So what that means is we've already programmed in those channels. So even if you don't know the first thing about uh, um, 
your area, um, you can you can just have a look here and go, hey, that's going to be all the signal levels for, in this case, we're in Melbourne, Mount Dandenong. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've programmed that in to make it nice and simple. Um, and then you've got some customizable numbers. And you see here, channel block E, D, C, B. See how all the channel block numbers are appearing? So it couldn't be easier. Um, so this media, you can travel around Australia and, uh, and uh, use it at, at the touch of a, touch of a button. Love this feature also. This is doing a, uh, a sweep of the spectrum. So we plug it in, we'll see, uh, we'll see where we're picking up signal right across the TV spectrum. You can go up and down that spectrum and you hit OK and it will zoom in uh, on just that part that you want to have a look at. And then if you want to have a look at a particular channel, obviously, you can have a look at that channel, hit the OK button, and that'll attenuate your signal. So that'll do the 20 dB drop. And they're probably the major features of this meter. Um, and we put it up against um, some of the most reputable and best meters in the industry, and it's incredibly accurate, actually. So it's got all the major features that you want. It's got MPEG-4, uh, it's, uh, it's got great batteries, um, it's got accuracy, and it's got that modulation error ratio that you want. So the question is, what's, what, what do the better models offer? Well, it won't do data logging, so it's one of them. It won't print out a report, so for you to give to the customer at the end of your job. So if you're going to go for those features, you go for a more expensive model. And if you've really got the budget uh, and you want Foxtel approval, obviously this model doesn't have Foxtel approval, you'd probably go for something like a Rover for that. Um, and it, it won't tell you um, anything about the TV spectrum, for example. You can't pick up LTE signals or 4G signals. So this one, at its price point, is very reasonable. You double that price and you're probably going to a model that will do nice data log and can give you reports. And, um, and so uh, you probably times uh, maybe 10 or 20 times the price of this one and you're getting one that will have the, all the features such as Foxtel approval and, and um, able to pick up satellite and everything else. This one's purely for really domestic um, um, television installations and maybe small MATV installations, but probably the easiest meter to use in the industry. Thanks very much.